I've been sitting here for over 20 minutes just wondering what to say to you guys. And the fact that I can't believe I'm actually playing this game right now after after years of waiting for it. But uh, I know I, I know I'm over a month late on playing it, but you know I, I had things to do somewhat, more or less. But I appreciate all the support and everything that you guys giving me. I have uh, I have over 122 subscribers, give or take, and I'm I'm loving y'all for that right now. I've been promoting my stuff like crazy on Twitter, and I'm I'm just excited about the things that I'm doing, and sharing to you. And I just, I just can't believe all this, you know, I can't tell you how grateful I am for you guys to give me a chance like this. But I'm going to quit being sentimental here about my, about my soft story, and I'm just get right into it. And uh, as I say at the start of every video, I'm going to try my best to make it real for you. And I'm going to try my best not to die, just like I normally do. This is for you. My great great grandfather, serving in the army, wondered when he'd get to go home to his wife and the son he'd never seen. He got his wish when the U.S. ended World War II by dropping atomic bombs on Hiroshima and Nagasaki. The world awaited Armageddon. Instead, something miraculous happened. We began to use atomic energy not as a weapon, but as a nearly limitless source of power. People enjoyed luxuries once thought the realm of science fiction. Domestic robots, fusion-powered cars, portable computers. century. People awoke from the American dream. Years of consumption led to shortages of every major resource. The entire world unraveled. Peace became a distant memory. It is now the year 2077. We stand on the brink total war. And I am afraid. For myself. For my wife. For my infant son. Because if my time in the army taught me one thing. It's that war. changes. War never changes. You're gonna knock him dead at the Veterans Hall tonight, hon. You think? Absolutely. Now get ready and stop hogging the mirror. Right. Hmm, weird. Okay. I like it. I clean up pretty nice. Okay, so, um... Got done customizing my guy here. Open up. Hmm. Ah, good morning, sir. Your coffee. One hundred and seventy-three point five degrees Fahrenheit. 
Thanks, Kagura. Of course. Uh... Hmm. More the same. Oh, Vortex. Nice. Okay. Turn that back. Can't go out. Crying, baby. You know, I was nervous at first, but Kagura is so good this time. Enjoy your coffee, sir. Hey, Kagura. Can you get that? It's probably that salesman. He comes for you every day. Good morning. vault calling. vault -Tec? Remind me again? Why, we're about you, sir, and helping secure your future. You see, vault is the foremost builder of state-of-the-art underground fallout shelters. Vault, if you will. Luxury accommodations where you can wait out the horrors of nuclear devastation. You can't begin to know how happy I am to finally speak with you. I've been trying for days. It's a matter of utmost urgency, I assure you. What's so important? Why, nothing less than your entire future. If you haven't noticed, sir, this country has gone to heck in a handbasket. If you'll excuse my language, the big kaboom is, it's inevitable, I'm afraid, and coming sooner than you may think, if you catch my meaning. Now, I know you're a busy fellow, so I won't take up much of your time, time being a, uh, mm, a precious commodity. I'm here today to tell you that because of your family service to our country, you have been pre-selected for entrance into the local vault. Vault 111. Sounds great. Oh, it is. Believe you me. Now, you're already cleared for entrance in the unforeseen event of uh, total atomic annihilation. <laughs> I just need to verify some information. That's all. Tell me more about this vault. Oh, it has all the amenities of the modern home, I assure you. Not to mention total protection from nuclear radiation and hostile mutants. A better future underground. It's not only our mission, it's our passion. Sure, let's do it. Splendid! Splendid. Now, uh, <coughs> let's see. I went ahead and went with the Damon because I'm I'm a Damon Baird fan on Gears of War, so that's what that is. I'm just going to even everything out. I like ah, there we go, four on four. You know what? No, you know what? I'm gonna take off. Let's see. Nah, I'm just keep it like that. Wonderful. That's everything. Uh, just gonna walk this over to the vault. Congratulations on being prepared for the future. Um, thanks again. Hey, it's peace of mind. That's worth a little paperwork, right? For you and Sean, no price is too high. <laughs> Good answer. I have my moments. Baby again. Sir, Sean has been changed, but he absolutely to calm down. I think he needs some of that paternal affection. Seems to be so good at. 
You heard Kato. Go on. Eternal affection. Uh, in real life, I ain't really that good at babies, bro. How are the two most important men in my life doing? Spin the mobile a bit. He loves that. Much better now, huh? Listen, after breakfast, I was thinking we could head to the park for a bit. Weather should hold up. Yeah, sounds like fun. Sir, mom, you should come and see this. Codsworth, what's wrong? Let me shut the door. Followed by, yes, followed by flashes, blinding flashes, sounds of explosions. We're uh, trying to get confirmation. What? We seem to have lost contact with our affiliate stations. We do, oh, we do have, we do have coming in. That's um, confirmed reports. I repeat, confirmed reports of nuclear detonations in New York and Pennsylvania. My God. Oh my God. We, we need to get to the vault now. Residents of Sanctuary Hills, if you are registered, evacuate to Vault 111 immediately. Oh man, this is how they do it. They showing how it happened. I'm gonna drop that nuke too. He busy about. He worried about taking bags. Man, you better get. Better get on the boat, man. On the list. Infant, adult male, adult female. Okay, go ahead. Thank you. Good luck.